So this brood is measured out at 32 inches, verified on my ncka.org NorCal Kayak Anglers hog trough. But as you can see there, it's a big boy. So now we're gonna cut it up and I think I am going to make uh, tuna kebabs. need to make some skewers.
Perfect. For our tuna kebabs, what the pieces that we need. Of course, you just saw me make these uh, skewers out of some uh, bamboo poles there. I'll sharpen those up in a bit. Uh, I'm going to be marinating in some basic kikkoman teriyaki sauce. Just a quick dash, let them sit for a little bit, half an hour, hour. Not going to look for too much flavor out of this. And I'm also going to add this, uh, the juice from the uh, pineapple, um, as well as the uh, teriyaki sauce to sweeten it up a little bit. Then our main ingredient, of course, is going to be the black fin tuna chunks. So I just cut them up into nice little chunks like that. Uh, basically, since they're so fresh, you could, <laughs> you really don't even need to cook them. But uh, so we're just going to do like a quick sear on them. Uh, none of this stuff has to be cooked, so as much or as little as you want. Uh, I've got some bell peppers, red onions, some tomatoes, the pineapple I got out of the can, and some mushrooms. And just going to put them on the skewers. Well, actually, I'm going to marinate a few of these items first, and then after that, I'll put them on the skewers, and then ready to throw it on the barbecue. Pretty easy. Real simple. We're just going to dump all this stuff in here. Actually, I'm going to chuck those. Tuna. Pineapple juice. A little bit of sweetness. And a little bit of saltiness here. Again, we're dealing with such light, fresh flavors. Adding teriyaki sauce is really not necessary. Just to give a little bit of a different taste to it. I mean, salt and pepper need to be good. So we're just going to let that uh, mix around a bit and then I'll get to assembling it. Okay, let's get to assembling. Actually, I'll do a chunk of fish first. Good for one. And it looks like I have to make one more, but it'll be a vegetarian. So, but we've got our three kebabs all ready to go. Loaded up with all our veggies and our blackfin. So now we're going to throw it on the grill. Okay, we are all ready to go here. Got some of my side dishes going there. Got a little bit of a vegetarian one here. And then our three blackfin tuna kebabs with all the fixings. Ooh oh no pineapples no man down All right, I think we are done. It's good to go. Before I start losing too many pieces. On there. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, 
and the veggies. Now they can stay on for a little bit. And I'll come back for these. So let's take this inside. All right, there you go, the core part of the meal. Well, let's put it all together. All right, there you go. We've got our teriyaki blackfin tuna kebabs. Got a little bit of salad there. Got my go-to uh, roasted bell pepper stuffed with uh, potato salad. A little bit of wild uh, rice pilaf. And of course, some uh, barbecued uh, corn on the cob there. So that is what's for dinner. All right, so this is what's for dinner. Got our nice kebabs there. Mm. Just a hint of the teriyaki sauce. I didn't put any um, spices, no salt, no pepper, no anything. Just the teriyaki sauce, which I guess will have salt in it and the uh, pineapple syrup or pineapple juice that came in the can so otherwise it was uh no other spices and it tastes really good and of course all the other veggies mm. the challenge with this is you just want to make sure that you don't uh, cook it for very long because you remember it's i mean it's sushi sashimi grade uh tuna just fresh caught so you don't even need to cook it and then even then if you're going to grill it just pan sear it so you can just throw it on flip it flip it and then pull it off and it'll come out fine so mm. yeah i was worried about the non-spices but it's perfect without it so anyways that's what's for dinner Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Mm -mm.